what's going on YouTube family back at you guys again with another video today's an exciting day I'm going to source used books I'm going to hit up I don't know six seven eight thrift different thrift stores um, I'm getting back into books and you guys are probably wondering why are you doing used books when you can sell stuff like Nike sell stuff like this sell stuff like that um, reason being is because all the comments I get complaining saying that it's unfair that I can sell this other stuff um, I'm gonna build my books back up to a thousand dollars a week profit just so when people leave comments like that I can say hey man I'm making a thousand dollars a week selling books and so can you if you put in the work so that's pretty much why I'm getting back into books just for the little trolls um, and to help you new beginners out because I know books are the probably the best way just to learn Amazon's platform um, the profits are crazy um, and it's just a good way to learn how Amazon works how to source how to prep how to ship so on and so forth um, how to use a repricer it's just a good place to start to learn um, for a cheap price so I'm excited to bring you guys along on the journey my goal is to source at least you know 250 to 300 books a week minimum my actual goal is 500 books a week on average a thousand a month sent into Amazon hopefully I can keep my average sale price around $20 18 to 20 dollars um, and I should be at a thousand dollars a week profit probably within three four months I'm guessing at least if I'm sending in 500 books a week but I'm gonna take you guys along on the journey I'm gonna take you guys to all the stores today see what we can find so stay tuned all right YouTube family just left the first thrift store this is kind of like a local mom-and-pop thrift shop um, didn't want to show which one it was because it's kind of low-key not a lot of people know about it um, again, I haven't sourced books in probably at least 14 months, I'm guessing, but this is my first stop. I spent about 30 minutes in there scanning, uh, picked up a decent amount of books, bag full. Um, probably the best one I found is going to have to be this guy right here. It's kind of a strange looking book, um, A Season in Hell. Um, I found when I used to do books like these weird books are usually the good ones I'll show you how much it's worth um, but I mean it's in good condition the outside I mean it doesn't have a cover or anything but like the pages are like brand new almost um, selling super quick I believe it was like 150,000 ranked book um, for scanning books I use a um, scanning app called Scout IQ it's great I'll go more into depth later in this video on how Sc Scout IQ works but this book right now is going used for $22.93. Um, East score is only $22. Um, but still, guys, I mean, I'll sit on it. I paid the hard covers here $1.50. Soft covers are $0.50 cents to $1. So $1.50 with a potential profit of like $14, $15 on this thing or $12. Bucks. Um, I'll sit on it for as long as it takes to sell. I mean, that's not a big investment. Um, it's a 1,000% return. So this was a pretty decent find. There's some other good stuff. Most of them range in between like $13 to $16. Um, selling price paid $0.50 cents to $1.50 for each book. Um, so I think we got around 20 books. So I could probably around $250 sales value um, or $300. Paid a total of 16 bucks. So you can't really beat that. But we are off to the next thrift shop, so stay tuned. All right, guys, just pull up to this massive um, thrift store. It's called Desert Industries here in Arizona. Um, they had one that I used to go to, and I believe this one's brand new. It's their own building. It almost looks like a Sam's Club sized building. Um, so I'm hoping I can find some good books, maybe find some other stuff. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna go in, head in, and see what we can find, and I'll catch up with you guys when I'm done. All right, guys, here at the last location, or possibly last location, I'm not sure. I kind of got caught up in some stuff I had to handle today. Um, so I've only hit two thrift stores so far. Um, they were kind of local mom and pop thrift shops. They weren't Goodwills. This is a Goodwill. The books are higher priced here, so I'm gonna have to be a lot more picky. Um, last time I did books here, I think soft covers were $2, hard covers three. Wouldn't be surprised if prices got raised since then. Um, so I'm only gonna pull books that are probably $20 or higher 
for an average sale price with good ranks because obviously if I'm going to be spending two, three bucks on a book, I want it to turn a lot quicker. Whereas if I was spending 25 cents, 50 cents on a book, I don't mind sitting on that. Um, and I still don't really mind sitting on it because I have money to play with now compared to what I used to be. But for those of you starting on a budget, you want your money turning so you can reinvest and grow your capital. Um, so I wouldn't recommend taking as many risks if you're only starting with a couple hundred bucks um but yeah it's just a quick tip for you guys um i'm not gonna lie guys it's been i've seen a lot of scanners out um i've never seen this many book scanners before in my life maybe i just kind of ran into some today or maybe it, the book games um a little bit more populated now but it's fun i met some friendly people they're all pretty nice um Booksellers used to be jerks back in the day, but the people I met today were super friendly. Don't know if any of them watch my stuff. If you do, shout out to you guys. Um, but yeah, we're gonna head in and see what we can find. Stay tuned. All right, guys, just got back from sourcing all these books. Got a pretty good amount. I'd say probably close to 50 books right here. Um, went to three thrift stores. I was planning on going to at least six. Didn't happen, had some stuff pop up. But we are going to list these into um, Inventory Lab, and then at the end of this video, I'm going to show you how much I expect to make profit off of all these. Um, some of these were really good books. Um, some of them were $50, $60, $70 dollar books. Some were only $15, $20. Um, average price, I paid anywhere from $1 to $2.50 a book, um, mostly like around the $1.50 range. Um, but... Uh, let's scan these in and see how much profit we made. All this stuff into inventory lab. I got a total of 49 books. Buy cost is, or average sales rank 518,000. Um, total sales value $780. Total buy cost is going to be $60.44. Total potential, potential net profit $316.97. Um, so we just about four, maybe five X star money. Um, not the best considering books you can make some crazy margins on. Um, but again, this is my first time sourcing books and I'd probably say at least 14, 15 months. So it's been a long time. It was fun to get back at it. I'm definitely going to be doing some more books here in the future this year. So be on the lookout for that content. If you guys want, I can go over how I source books, my strategies, kind of the how I determine what's a good book, what's a bad book, um, the tools I use for book selling. Um, I can go over how I grade, conditions, so on and so forth. Um, whatever you guys wanna see from me, let me know down in the comments. Sorry for the lack of content. Um, these past couple of weeks just kind of got burnt out been taking a little bit of a break from everything um, but i'm back in full swing back fully at it again um, just got out of school finished up final so we're good for summer going to be putting a ton of content um, i've already got a list of stuff i'm putting out for you guys and also suggest some more down in the comments but that is going to be it for this video i hope you guys enjoyed it um, if you're new to the channel be sure to subscribe join our free facebook group down below and i'll see you guys tomorrow for the next video